hello everyone welcome to coding simplified and today we will see the important chapter which is array so basically array is a group of variable of same data type right or in another way we can say that array is an object which can hold multiple variables of same data type right so uh, let's take an example let's say that uh, we want to assign three values three integer values so uh, normally we would need three variables for that right but rather than taking three variables we can have one array integer variable that can store three integer values right so uh, we will see all the things about array so let's start about declaring so we declare the array by using like this a so this is how we declare the array so here we are saying that a is an integer array variable right and now we will come to defining so so this is the way of defining so here we are saying that this array variable contains five elements or five integer values right so we can also declare and define in same line so this is the way let's take it b so this is also valid right so this is declaring and then defining so the important point is this that we are not we do not allocate any memory when we are declaring but when we are defining then we are allocating memory for this array variable one integer variable takes four byte right so here we are storing five element so it means we are allocating 20 bit 20 byte memory for this array variable right so defining process is allocate memory but here we do not allocate any memory and this is the way in single line we can declare and then define the array variable so here we uh, saw the example of integer but same is we can choose any data type uh, it can have any primitive data type like character then short byte as well as well as the class object it is valid so uh, later we'll know about all the classes so uh, the array of classes is also valid so uh, now for each integer or for each array variable we have a variable length variable so uh, basically it gives us the length of then array variable like what is the length of that array so for example in this case the length of the length is 5 right so we can say just print this array variable and this b dot length so this length variable is very important to calculate the length of the array variable so if you run this program you will give the length 5 right and if suppose if you change it to 3 then it will give you length 3 so this is how we calculate the length of an array now one array variable can be assigned to multiple arrays right so for example uh, let's remove this one so this is array variable right and this can again assign to a new array so we can say into 8 so now at this point a was pointing to an array of 5 element but now array is pointing to array of 6 element right so it will uh, so it will disconnect from this array and now it will point to the this array right again similarly we can have new int let's say 14 so now a will pointing to the 14th element array so the latest one the latest array where array variable points to right now we'll see about the initialization of array so let's remove this so by default whenever we declare or define an array by default it assigned to its default value right so uh, we will see what is the default value basically so for integer default value 0 right so uh, for example whenever you so uh, let's take it in one line so here whenever we have defined an array all values of element will assign to automatically default values right so uh, basically if you print this uh, 
auch G. Yep. So now the important point is again that each array element is assigned to a particular index value starting from the zero. So like the first element can be accessed by i equal to zero by the index i equal to zero and the second element can be accessed by index i equal to one. So and further processing right. So for example uh, if I print a zero or let's say AI. let's print all the element one by one right so run this program and you will see all values has been assigned by default value which is zero so AI means the first element which is a zero a1 means second element a2 means third element right so it will go till a4 so basically n minus one right because we are starting from the zero so this was about the end and if you choose it to the float then default will view default value will be 0, 0.0 right so the integer default value is 0 float default value 0, 0.0 then string default value is null right so similarly we have then byte also 0 short also is 0 right so it will automatically assign to the default values right and like boolean boolean default value is false so if you change it to boolean and if you run this program this will give you false values right and now we'll see how to give the values or how to assign values so let's change it to integer and let's say that we need to assign the values so uh, in this loop I will assign values so let's say ai equals to um, i so now this uh, uh, ai so a0 will assign to 0 then a1 will assign to 1 then a2 will assign to 2 and similarly it will assign till a4 and when i equal to 5 then it, it will exit from the loop right so if you run this program okay but we haven't uh, given any print so uh, even you can give a for print so you can print ai right so if you run this program this will give you 0 1 2 3 5 right so this is how we assign the values in array right so this is the one way and in another way you can also assign while declaring the array variable so let's say you have int d equals to and then whatever the element values you want to give so just put it there yes so this is an array variable so of four element and where values are these so uh, b0 so the first element will be 23 second element will be 12 third 45 and then the fourth element will be 5 right so if you run this program mm, let me just copy this and just remove and let's say b right as we know uh, that the length is 4 right but even we can use the length variable of for this array right so as we know that b dot length gives the length of the array right so if you give this and let me comment this because now we not need this so run this program and this will give you output 23 12 45 5 right so this is also a other way right so this was the first way for assigning the values this is the second way for assigning the values right and either way we can also uh, write it like new int and this so this is again a valid case right but we cannot give the both values like four if, if you are giving four here because then it will it gives us the ambiguity because it will say that already i know that there are four element so why there is need to give this value right so it will automatically understand that this is array of four element right and once assigned then you can also uh, assign it to other values 
so let's say that this is a let me, okay so now this is okay so let's say I have uh, this B array right and so I declare another C and then I assign equals to B right so this is also perfectly valid case because it is saying that all the values which is for B so uh, now C variable C array variable will point to the B array right so if you print the if you print the C array then it will give you the same output right so let me do this and let it comment this right so <clears throat> so we have uh, assigned the b array then c equals to b and then run this program so it will give you the same values for c array as well right so we can also assign one array into another array so uh, friends that's all about the array and in next tutorial we will see about the multi-dimensional array so and for more information you can visit the coding simplified.com site so thanks for watching the video and please like the video and subscribe my channel. Uh, thank you.